first of all, I didn't want to come to Arizona when I retired. I wanted to go to Florida because my daughter lives in Florida. But my husband suggested we try Arizona. I was here two days. How can you not love the mountains? How can you not love the desert? We're retired. You're used to having a full day. I don't want to say it gives you something to do, but if you've got an interest, it's a way to express yourself and do things. And the and Green Valley Camera Club offers things to everybody and it, it keeps you busy. Two other Rons just bought the P600. No, it's not one. No, it's, it's a good print. This is better. Really? Colors are better, more saturated. Our club has been around a really long time. I'm going to be wrong when I say how long, but it's like over 20 years. And a lot of these guys have been the original members of the club. And um, so they've known each other a really long time. A lot of them are really, really good uh, photographers. Uh, is there any way you can get those people out of the background? Yes, but I'm lazy. I like the people in the background. This was what we call Photo SIG. SIG is a special interest group, and they meet every week, Tuesday morning. Each person brings up to five photos to share. Some of them are really great, and some of them are just like show and tell from their last trip they went on. But um, we uh, are theoretically supposed to give a little feedback. It's like we're gentle. Are yours? Yes, mine. Are those flowers? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Are you drunk? <laughs> Special interest group where people bring their shots. The group critiques everybody else's pictures in jest and in seriousness, depending on the level of who the person is. The wind up there was blowing about 30 miles an hour at the time. How far are you from them at this point? At that point, uh, actually, I'm using my 600, so. That wasn't it. I'm a ways. Ways away, but they ended up coming right up to us. I like to travel, and I just came back from taking photographs of the polar bears up in Churchill, Manitoba. My wife says, Will you look at the bears and put the camera down? It gives you an impetus to go to places where you may not normally go to be able to get some images to bring back to show to friends and whatnot. <laughs> We try hard to get the entire range of skill levels here. We think we're one of the biggest camera clubs, period. I don't know for sure, but you have so many varieties of interest, uh, you're not gonna find any one person, generally, that goes to all of the activities. So we have enough to make 867 people happy. Our goal is to get to 1,000. <laughs> we do a lot of things besides education. We do field trips out in the community. Okay, now everybody look up between so we can see you. Now we're going to take several. <coughs> Cheese. Cheese. And the famous one. What is it? Cheeseburger. No, sex. <laughs> I think we are ready to get started. The tour should last about an hour. Everybody ready to go? Yeah. Awesome. So let's go ahead and go on inside. You've never seen a younger bunch of old people in your life. <laughs> they might, on some given days, walk circles around you. The Gravy Zebra is very, is very highly endangered. It is one of the most endangered species in the African savanna. More endangered than lions and elephants and all of those. Well, today was a field trip uh, that I arranged called Behind the Scenes for the zoo. And this gives them a chance to uh, see some of the things the public can't see, and they get to pet the rhino. One at a time, or a few at a time, we can come up and touch. I can't promise how long she's going to stay here, so if you want to touch her, right now is the best time to do it, and we're going to stay away from her head. I take them on a lot of different uh, field trips. We've done things like roller derby. I've gone to several ranches. I have a mystery trip every year for them. Can't tell you where it is, because I'd have to kill you. There will be four photo opportunities inside. We have some animals waiting for us. I'm just kind of learning. I haven't traveled very much. I bought a new camera and uh, I wanted to learn how to do uh, photography better than what, you know, point and shoot would do. I've always taken pictures, but we always differentiate in the camera club between taking pictures and taking photographs because there's a difference. So I think when you spend some time editing it and, and getting it ready for production, I think you become a photographer. So I'd say all of my life I took pictures, 
probably the last five years I've become a photographer. Well, one with digital, you, you, the, the cost is, is free. I mean, you can take a thousand pictures and throw away 999 of them, and if you got one, you can review your photos, although I seldom do that when I'm out on a shoot. Usually I go home, I can't wait to get them on my computer so I can look at them. It's popular because I think it gives people the opportunity to see places they wouldn't see normally. And the camera club here is incredible. The one in Green Valley, it's one of the largest ones in the country. So you have some incredibly talented people, incredibly talented. People who may not be an artist with pastels or oils or things like that, feel they can get a piece of that artistic credibility themselves with a photograph. Somebody admired one of my photographs and they said, I'd really like to buy that. And I said, really? And I have a wonderful business going. So, I sell photographs all over. I've had exhibits all over. A teacher of fourth graders. <laughs> Who knew?